On the one hand, we need to do market research with today's passengers to, to analyze what are their needs of, of today. And then we need to try to find the developments of the future. So because you cannot ask today's people about their needs in the future. So and that's the reason why we need to anticipate. So different customer groups, different um, groups in the society about their needs in the future coming from today's needs. I see three different uh, main trend areas and challenges for us. The first is we see a, a changing passenger landscape, more female passenger, a greying society, um, more emerging countries and emerging cultures joining um, the air transport um, arena. Um, the second is uh, the question of sustainability. So people are more and more concerned about uh, the environment. And we need to find solutions and answers with our cabin products and with our aircraft products to, to comply with that. And the third is um, the, the mobile revolution. So the, the, the question is more and more people have, have mobile devices, smartphones, handhelds, um, and bring them on board provides good opportunities for the airlines because it's an enabler for them to, to generate additional revenues. But in terms of connectivity, it's, it's really a hard challenge for, for, for us to, to find the right technical solutions to that because it's a really fast-moving um, technology. The main outcome for the concept plane interior, for the concept plane cabin, is that we provided um, a range of really long-term passenger needs. So in terms of health and well-being, in terms of create value for the passengers, in terms of um, providing them the chance to be connected to, um, to their te technologies. Um, so this is, this is really, um, let's say, that's really a visionary approach to combine these this different technologies and the different needs on board in one concept cabin vision. It's hard to, to really predict uh, the technology um, readiness for, 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 for these technologies. But, we only integrate technologies where we see a fair chance that we can make it um, to the year 2050. So people still need to go from A to B. And when we did the surveys and we are asking young people who will be flying in the future, so they said we will be flying more in the future. Um, but people are also more sustainable oriented and they're also more demanding in terms of quality and service. And so the future Kevin experience will be catering to those needs. So you will have um, a broader experience while traveling. So it will not just be going from A to B, but really feeling the travel again going from A to B. So really feeling the environment. You travel over um, thousands of kilometers, but you really get the connection again and feel the specialty you have when traveling in the future. The core feature of our cabin is called a cabin membrane, um, similar to biopolymers right now, that can optimally adjust the cabin environment to the outer environment the passenger is, is actually flying in. If you look at seats, we will have morphing elements. So if you enter the cabin as a passenger, the seat will sense your body and will adapt to your anthropometrics, to your shape of the body. So we do have morphing elements in the cabin in 2050, yes. If you look at current cabins, you clearly have um, clear class distinctions. So you have an economy class, you have a business class, and maybe you also have a first class. And the future cabin experience will really be driven by value the passenger needs in a specific context. So you do have an area where it's more functionally orientated and you have adapting materials, adaptive seat. And in the front end of the cabin, it's more emotional driven. And here it's really about experiencing travel again. And there we use the membrane as an outer shape of the aircraft and it adapts to the um, daylight of the, of the flight. So once you could have a, a panorama view when sitting in the front. You would have augmented reality, so you would get information while flying um, next to the Mount Everest. You would get information displayed on the membrane, which would enrich your uh, travel experience. And it also adapts to certain climate changes, so that you as a passenger feel um, the best comfort while traveling. Due to um, the revenue space on board and also being air travel being affordable, the end of the cabin is optimally adjusted to the needs of the passenger, so each and every passenger is paying for the exact value he needs while traveling. We know this is a vision and, and maybe not everything what we have shown in the concept plane vision will, will come to reality, but um, I think it's a fairly good approach to show the, the different 
um, opportunities for us and the different opportunities for the airline customers to try to provide a good value to, to uh, next generation passengers. It's not that far away from reality, so we can show today that there are these uh, materials, that they have the, um, the, functional, the functionalities to repair themselves um, or to have materials which are easy to clean or which, where you have no efforts to clean. Um, we have two, two different tasks. One task is to, to bring that into the aircraft and the second is to make it commercial viable. I'm quite certain that we are going to fly in this cabin. If you look at the time horizon of 2050, um, it's long enough, but it's not that long. And also um, thinking about the concept plane was also, um, it was clearly a concept, but it's not that far away. It's not that unrealistic because we're showing the exact touch point um, towards the R&T roadmap where we're working on and where we can deliver that product. And the same is true for the cabin. So it's still, it's a future concept. So it's, it's about to inspire about future traveling and the future passenger experience. But we're still quite sure with the right technologies we're looking up at uh, now, um, already now we're looking at, we can deliver such a product quite similar to the one we're, we're envisioning right now.